it's the way they do it with gravitational waves. So they have like a template mm. of what should be the amplitude, the frequency yeah. of the wave. And they are always hearing, looking at, always at the mirrors. And when the mirrors move with that pattern, that is, oh, that's the gravitational wave. Yeah. Can you actually then calculate where it came from and how old it is? Yes, you can. Yeah. So precisely with the gravitational waves, you assume that the theory of general relativity is correct. That's an assumption. You do the calculations from the Einstein equations and you calculate uh, the distance where the gravitational wave came from, the source. Mm. Uh, you can calculate what is the mass of the objects that merge okay. into create a gravitational wave. That's why, for instance, we know that the first gravitational wave that we detected was two black holes with a mass of ar around 20 something, 27 and 26 solar masses mm -hmm. that they merge together and they release in terms of energy of gravitational waves, the equivalent to two suns. 